Hello and welcome to the Weekend to End Women's Cancer's safety video. All of your hard work, training and fundraising has led to this moment. Together we've been able to make groundbreaking research, treatment and care a reality for those currently battling breast and gynecologic cancers. Now, in a few short weeks, you'll take the next step in this historic journey for all women. In this video, you'll learn to make your weekend experience as safe and enjoyable as possible and get a great overview of the weekend itself. One of our main goals is your safety and comfort during the event. Please keep the weekend mantra in mind. Stay alert, stay alive. The following rules will help you have the most enjoyable weekend experience. Don't run. This event is not a race and it is not a competition. So take your time. You'll enjoy the event so much more if you savor your surroundings at a leisurely pace. Obey all traffic signals and road signs. Even if you only consider them guidelines while driving, we ask that you take them seriously while walking. When encountering vehicles at intersections, don't assume that the driver can see you. Be sure that you make eye contact with them before crossing the street. For your safety, local law enforcement will be monitoring the event. You must obey their instructions at all times. You must also cooperate with all crew members and the medical team. On rare occasions, they'll assess whether a walker is unable to continue because it is deemed unsafe. Always follow the route markings. If the markers direct you to the left side of the road, do not walk on the right. If space is tight, please walk single file and use available footpaths. And most importantly, do not cross streets in the middle, but only at intersections as designated. Sweep vehicles are clearly marked. They'll constantly circulate the route to pick up any participant needing assistance. If you need help, hail one by giving a thumbs down signal. Hold your signal in the air until your sweep vehicle passes so that they can see you in the rearview mirror. You may also indicate that you need assistance by crossing your arms above your head to form an X. The weekend continues rain or shine, so be prepared for wet weather. Bring rain gear like waterproof ponchos to keep your body as dry as possible. And to keep your stuff as dry as possible, you should pack all of your belongings in sealed plastic bags before placing them in your luggage. If there's an emergency, call triple O first. Once you've made that call, then call the emergency number on the back of your credential to notify us of the situation. If you don't have access to a phone, flag down a sweep vehicle or other passing car and ask them to alert us immediately. Keeping healthy during the weekend is just as important as staying safe. Follow these health tips to ensure that your weekend experience is most enjoyable. Remember to eat. This is not the time to be dieting. Your body needs the fuel for this journey, so eat at every opportunity. There will be snacks at every pit stop, so feel free to take what you need for that moment. But please don't stock on snacks for the rest of your day's walk. You'll have an opportunity for more at the very next stop. Also, please only take one lunch as we planned carefully to accommodate all of the walkers. It's absolutely critical that you remain hydrated throughout the day with water and sports drinks. Just bring your own water bottle and we'll fill it up for you all weekend. Don't wait to drink until you're thirsty, as that means you're already dehydrated, but don't drink just water. You must also have regular servings of sports drinks to avoid an electrolyte imbalance that's as dangerous as dehydration itself. You should stretch at least five minutes every hour and don't cut corners, because if you cheat, You'll be unnecessarily sore for days after the event and you can risk injuring yourself. Wear sunscreen. We encourage you to wear liberal amounts of sunscreen. Just bring it with you and reapply it throughout the day. And don't be fooled by an overcast day. You still can get burnt. So apply even when it's a cloudy day. You should definitely bring an extra pair of socks to change into at lunch, a painkiller like ibuprofen and blister care items like band-aids and anti-chafing creams. Carry these items and you'll be prepared for any minor muscle or foot pain that might arise. Remove your shoes periodically to massage your toes and arches. This will keep your feet in the best condition possible. In the event that you do need medical attention, visit the medical tent. Now for some general information about the route and camp. 
On Saturday morning when you arrive to the start location, the first thing you should do is drop off your gear to any gear truck. Then, if you do not have your credential, proceed to the check-in area to pick it up. This is also where you can drop off any last-minute donations. The weekend is not a competition, so we encourage you to take your time. But if you have not reached a pit stop or lunch by its closing time, you will be asked to wait there and then be transported to camp. This is for your own safety as it's dangerous for you to be on the route after support and medical services are no longer available. When you arrive at camp, you'll find signs directing you to enjoy all your well-deserved amenities, including dinner and entertainment. You will find signs directing you to your corresponding tent address. If you are planning on staying at camp, make sure you request a tent before you complete online check-in. Your tent assignment will be emailed the week before the event. Make sure you write the tent address on your luggage tag. Remember, there is absolutely no smoking or open flames in or around the tents. The next morning, just leave your tent set up. Bring your luggage to the designated gear truck for gear drop-off. In the rare event of severe weather, we may have to relocate. If we do have to move, you'll be directed by staff and crew members to the relocation facility. At camp, there will be plenty to do if you're feeling energized by the day. There will be an evening show in the dining tent that will include news, announcements, guest speakers and more. And if all of that weren't enough, we'll have some entertainment planned for the rest of your evening. So make sure you're ready for some dancing. When you reach the end of the route on Sunday, you'll receive an enthusiastic welcome from other walkers, receive your victory shirt and have a chance to cheer everyone arriving behind you. It's a high energy, fun atmosphere that's the perfect place for you to get ready for closing ceremony. If you finish this online check-in by the date flashing on your screen now, you will receive your credential in the mail that will be your passport to the event. Your credential has your name, participant number, the emergency phone number, as well as a series of icons that designate your meal preference and more. You must wear it and it must be visible at all times on the route and in camp to have access to meals and services. If you do not receive your packet in the mail, you will need to pick it up on Saturday morning right after you drop off your gear. Last but not least, don't forget to visit the registration booth. Here you can sign up for next year's weekend for a special discounted fee. Well, that's it for the safety presentation. Make this a weekend to remember. Share an inspiring story with a new friend. Remember those we've lost and celebrate this amazing weekend in the fight to end all women's cancers. Remember to stay hydrated, stretch, 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 and stay alert, stay alive. See you on the route.